Okay, this is a charting library I made using a combination of GTK with Glade. I used Glade to generate a GTK layout, and uh, I'm using the Python imaging library, and I'm generating some data based on uh, a few combined sine functions of different amplitudes and periods. Uh, so this represents live data coming in from some type of sensor, but again, it's just simulated. Uh, it's all of the image drawing is done in Python Imaging Library, and you can see it's a little bit out of focus, but we're getting about 40 frames a second pretty comfortably. Uh, what I would recommend doing is updating the window a little bit less frequently down here. I'll give it 17 milliseconds between each refresh. Save. Ah, keep having an S there. Control S. F5. Alright, so now this is a little more reasonable frame rate. And... Let's check out... You can see at 26 frames a second, it is taking a lot of CPU, about 62% of the CPU. So let's drop it down again. Uh, there's a balance between smoothness and performance, you know. Let's bump it up to 50. Say F5. This is a little more reasonable. Looks like CPU occupation is about 30%. So, it's not optimal, but at the same time, it's able to run pretty efficiently on this little netbook. And as long as we're not doing a whole bunch of stuff at once, I think I'm okay with that. Let's drop it down to 10 milliseconds between frames. We'll check it out again. So it's running about 73% of CPU doing all this drawing. And this is without any hardware acceleration. Realistically, if we wanted to uh, make our resources a little bit better occupied, we would consider an OpenGL library, something like Pygame. Um, but this is a, a TK, or actually this is GTK base, and it uses Python imaging library. So pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see there are automatic scale bar labels, automatic ticks, and it automatically adjusts its height based on the data coming in.